Hello everyone, this is Rami Sattar back from Nozine and today this is um, going to be the next tutorial and in today's video um, we are going to give the style to our um, form we made last time. So let's get started by um, turning on our uh, server and Apache and MySQL should be running. Good. Now go to see your server folder and to the www or htdocs or whatever it is. In my case, it's XAMPP and htdocs. And then to your project folder, which in our case is study. And I'm gonna go and this create. You can use any note text editor while I prefer Notepad. So let's get to sorry, study and create that PHP. So this is what we made last time. Um, this is the code. You can check that in the playlist and in the channel. Um, I've also um, pasted the link in this video. So down in the corner, you can check that if you want to learn this. So today we are going to give this a little bit of style and make it look good. So without any ado, let's get started. First of all. Um, I will just go below the title. Now I always say that I prefer external style sheets and it's always a good practice but for the sake of ease and learning we are doing it right in here. But by the end of this course um, I make sure that we will transfer all of our um, style code into the external style sheet and other than that we will also do um, jQuery along the way, a little bit of jQuery and believe me by the end of this course you will be glad that you spent time on this. Okay, so um, instead I'm gonna say body or let's say star. This star means that everything, everything in this code, heading gonna be zero pixels and similarly margin gonna be zero pixel. Save it. Uh, now I'm gonna just give name to this and let's say um, M. I'm gonna just copy it and paste. Um, I'm gonna give a break to uh, to use break break and break again. Okay, so we've got the break, and now we gotta do our um, styling. I've given it the ID name Foreman, so I'm gonna go in Foreman. I'm gonna say, um, where it be like um, 300 pixels. I'm gonna say, um, border be um, one pixel, solid um, black, and let's push it. Okay, so this is fine. I'm gonna say margin, margin top, um, let's say 30 pixels, 20 pixels, and margin left is gonna be 10 pixels. Let's refresh, and it looks pretty fine, it looks good. Um, okay, now and let's give our form a little bit of styling. As you can see that these words are um, attached with the corner, so we're gonna move these a little bit forward. I'm gonna say margin um, left. Um, let's say maybe 20 pixels. Save it. Refresh and okay. <laughs> so it it didn't move. Okay, we got we don't have to just put styling because form is. Um, a basic, a built-in code tag. So, so this moved ahead, and it looks pretty fine. Um, this is written with the PHP, so it won't be moved with the uh, form, but you can move it. We will look into that how to move that, um, or maybe you can just remove this echo as we paste it um, required in every field. So. So this looks fine. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna just change a little bit. I'm gonna say one pixel solid. 
let's say red. Save it, refresh it, and this looks fine, but it's just a solid red. Oh, this is uh, kind of better than that. I'm really sorry for that. Um, anyways, uh, let's, let's just say border V zero pixel and border bottom V uh, two pixel solid gray maybe. Oh, this looks better. This is good. And let's say font size 20 pixels, font family agency FB, save it, refresh it, and A will. How are you? Oh, this is this is email. So this this looks good. You see. Um, uh, let's change a little bit of this button. I'm gonna game, give it the name of um, Form Virian. Save it. Form Virian. Now I'm gonna say convert <coughs> to like 200 pixels. Height be like uh, 100 pixels. Um, background be like gray. Uh, sorry. And border uh, be like two pixels solid black. Let's see how does it look like. And oh, this looks bad. Um, so we're gonna change the width to um, uh, sorry height to two pixels. Maybe. Let's check. Yeah, this this is fine. This is better. Um, I'm gonna say margin top is gonna be uh, two pixel as we gave to it. Save it and refresh it. Okay, this looks fine too. Um, you can change the width if it's looking a lot to you. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Save it. Save it. Refresh it. And this looks good. You can change it a little bit. So the form median. Um, or, um, and then you can say background code. See? And also you can change. Curver, curver, change to pointer, save it, refresh, and there we go. It looks fine. Um, you can add links in it, um, but it, it won't need a link because it's uh, performing an action. Um, let's just check if it's working fine, and it should, because we have not um, changed anything except for this tile. And yeah, you can do this. Uh, go to form. Font size. Ten pixels. Ten pixels. So, I'm ready. Change font size to five pixels. Refresh it. And now it's. Let's see. This, this looks good now. This is better. Um, you can you can um, sorry. you can you can give more space to these. You can use uh, N and N and N BSP. Show you. You can use this one. You can just um, change the line. I mean, you can give break in here and move it to the other line. So you don't have to. Shift these places, so you can you can do it. This is an easy task. This is not a tough task. See now, the bottom one is better. You can copy and paste it. 
on the same line and they're almost close you can put one more in BSP it should work yep and it's right there So, um, all of these are now aligned straight. You can give this a little bit more padding. Let's say on button, margin, uh, uh, left. Let's say more 20 pixels. So, oops, <laughs> it didn't move. Well, it's, it's on hover, so as soon as I hover, it's, it's going to move. But I don't know if you move on hover somewhere close, but I kind of paste it on that here. So similarly you can just give it a little bit of a little bit more of margin, maybe like two pixels, um, as much as you want. So let's just check if it's working. I'm gonna say release after email is gonna be nosing at gmail dot um, um, and contact can be uh, anything. <laughs> so created and the equation was successful. And um, in the other videos, I'm gonna just tell you um, how not to just write it here, how to give it an alert using JavaScript so that as soon as that it gets <coughs> <coughs> sorry for that. So as soon as the data gets transferred to the database, it it just d doesn't show this um, very unstylish kind of thing in the web page. It's gonna pop up and gonna um, tell us in an alert that uh, data has been created. Uh, it's gonna be something like this. Let me just show you. Page loaded. Okay. Now if I refresh, page loaded. So this this it it won't say data creation successful. Instead, it would say data creation successful in this way. <coughs> but we will, we are gonna look at that uh, when we start JavaScript. So for now, we are just gonna stick to this and let's check if our data is being pasted and it is for sure. Uh, so it is and it's working totally fine. So that was all for today. It's not too much, I know, um, but you can just check into the other video. Where we are gonna um, show this data, and then after that, the other video we are just making complete styles and a complete web page to add and show data. So, um, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see, we, see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.